Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I've got this beautiful pink and grey ombre. Oh, it's so stunning. So I've removed the previous set and I'm just, I've prepped and primed and all that jazz and I'm just coming in with a bead of CJP Ash. Now, I want to do an ombre so I'll place the bead on the free edge and I'll blend that bead backwards. So you want to blend it real good into that into that nail so that it blends down to nothing. If you don't because if you don't get that blend down then you're going to have a step or you're going to see the other th color through it. It's just going to make it uh, uh, really hard to do basically. So you have to excuse me faff it my kitchen was pretty cold so it was setting up a little bit slower than what I would have liked so usually I would come in with my next colour straight afterwards but like I said because it was cold I just move straight on to the next now and I do the grey on all of the fingers before I come back to do the pink so again popping it on the free edge just putting it into place and then blending it backwards I mean, to be fair, because I'm using a more uh, from CJP to blend with this grey, and they just they just blend so beautifully together. They really do look stunning. Again, using my size ten brush as always. This size 10 brush has now actually been replaced by the Love by CJP brush. <clears throat> it's in between an 8 and a 10, so it's a tinsy, tinsy bit bigger than this one. You can pick up a, a slightly bigger bead than you can with the 10 that I'm using now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I had a bit of scuzz or something stuck in that. I don't know what it was. Sorry. So, yeah, always working neatly. You know, saves your filing. So keep them edges nice and tucked in. And on that free edge, make sure it's as smooth as you can get it with your brush. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, so now I'm coming in with a bead of CJP and more. <clears throat> Just blood that out a tinsy bit. And again, so place your bead on, tuck it into the cuticle area, and then you want to drag the front of that bead down to create your blend. Just, just a very, very light touch. Mm. 
and so I wasn't quite happy with that blend so I've just placed another small wet bead on just so that it blends through. So I'm going to do the same <clears throat> on all five fingers and so I'll just let you watch this bit guys. So there I just come in with a small bead of crystal glass just to cap over that blend line. And for some reason I already thought I'd capped the first two, but I didn't, but lucky for me they still turned out beautiful. <laughs> So I'm just going to show you the filing just on this one now. Um, so side walls first, then my free edge. So you want to get that file underneath as well to make sure <clears throat> that that extension is coming straight out from the from the natural nail. So then I come round the cuticle area. And then over 
over the top. Sorry, that's a really bad shot, the whole video I was getting told off. I don't ever think you could see the other hand at all. <laughs> so again, once you've checked every angle, barrel of the nail, sides, make sure your apex is in there. And then I've buffed them. I've gone underneath the nail with my e-file just to clean up a bit under there. And I'm just coming in with my CJP Tech Free Top Gloss now. He's just such an elegant look. It's so stunning. I mean, I love doing the crazy nails with loads and loads of glitter and 3D and gems and everything, as you know. But I think just sometimes when you do a simple set that you just think, wow, they really do look great. I was really pleased with myself. I thought they were, they were gorgeous. Look at that shine. Again, out of shot again. It was the theme of that video before we edited. I say before we edited, before my other half edited for me. And then we're gonna pop in the lamp for 60 seconds. And once they're cooled down, if you don't let your, your nails cool down before you add uh, your cuticle oil, you just it can dull the shine on the top coat. So always let them cool down for at least a minute. So thanks so much for watching again, and I will see you in the next one. So just left a left a shot of the finished set. So hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.